everyone, it's Alfredo here, and I'm checking out Moose Toys' really rad robots. In this video, I'm hanging out with... Yakbot! Hey! How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, Yakbot. How are you doing? Oh, that's great to hear, man! So Yakbot is called Yakbot because he yaks a lot, like yak. Yak, 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 But anyway, yeah, he's called Yakbot because you can talk to him. I'm waiting. Okay, Yakbot, just let me do my thing, all right? Let's go over the different parts of Yakbot. Here's the switch to turn Yakbot on and off. There's three parts to it. In the middle is off. To the left is try me mode. If you want to pretend like he's in the box, that's a very limited mode. And to turn him on, you switch it all the way to the right. And he turns right on. Before you do that though, make sure there's batteries in there, guys. You don't want to look like a fool when there's no batteries and you're like, Aw oh, man, it won't turn on. Make sure you got AAA batteries. You know, they're the little skinny, tiny little batteries. They're little tiny baby batteries. Oh, I have a skinny battery. I was on a diet. The battery pack is like right in the back, right here. Make sure the batteries are fully charged. Otherwise you can't get the full Yakbot experience. So let's put batteries in him. Oops. There's a battery pack and then you just insert it like boop. And then the other one, it goes boop. And then you put it in like this. Uh, boop. And then use a screwdriver. It's okay to have your parents help you if this is a lot of work. And bam. It's on! Hey, how you doing? Right here is the speakers. And then there's a little part right here, the microphone, where you can record into. So when you talk to Yakbot, make sure you're talking to him face to face. Cause that's just generally polite. So Yakbot has two buttons, one to his right where you can record and play stuff, and one to his left where you can control all the filters. We'll cover that in just a bit. If you haven't recorded anything, the two buttons play whatever he wants to say. Hey, hands up my hardware. Jeez, Yakbot's got some attitude. Cut it with the two, dude. Lamo. And then the top, there is the warp dial, which spins. Wee! Woo, woo, woo! It's like I'm a DJ. Wicka, 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 wicka! So now we're gonna check out the recording function of Yakbot using the right button with the little microphone and the play button. So you just press this button for two seconds and wait for the chirp. And again, make sure you're talking to him face to face so the microphone catches it. Talk to me, yo! Hi, I'm recording something. When you're recording, he'll automatically stop recording when you stop talking. Yakbot records up to 10 seconds, so be sure not to record anything too crazy. Like if you're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. It won't record that for 10 seconds. It's, that's just too much. So once you've recorded, just press it again and he'll play it back. I am recording something. So you can use this button on the left to filter through all four cool effects. To filter through the effects, you just press it through. That's robot mode. I am recording something. That's echo mode. It must get over my ass. That gibberish is backwards mode. I am recording something. And that's regular mode. When you're on the effect that you want to play, like robot mode, you just press it back with the right button to keep it on robot mode. I am recording something. And with all the effects, you can play with it through the warp dial. On regular mode, you can use the warp dial to put it into helium voice or low. I am recording something. You can even play with it as it's playing back, like... Whoa! One of the things I like to do to have fun with the recording is uh, be dramatic with it. So if something tragic happens, you can be like... No! So when you put it low on the warp dial, it sounds like this. <laughs> you can record a beatbox and just have like a rap dance party with the Yakbot. Oh, that's fast. Let me slow the beat down a little bit. Oh. 
I like to party. How about you? I like to party with my shoes. Because if you party barefoot, that's not, that's, you're going to probably step on stuff like glass and that, that might hurt a lot. So some stuff about the recording function you should know. If you want to erase a recording, you can either hold this down and record a new one, or you can go back here and put it to try me mode and then put it back and uh, it'll be, you know, refreshed, reset. I think I just soiled my software. And uh, I guess, I guess he farts. Oh, that stinks. Oh, Yakpot. Smells like oil and diapers. It makes me wanna yak. Am I right? <laughs> Another function of Yakbot is the answer man function. Basically, he can answer any of your questions. Make sure they're yes or no questions because he's only gonna give you a yes or no answer. You hold this filter button down, the button to his left, for two seconds if you wanna ask him a question. I got this, ask me anything. Am I good at skateboarding? Correct the mundo. Oh, sweet. I can go out and do a kickflip. So using this mode, Yakbot can answer any of your questions and uh, he can be like your therapist. What you wanna know? Hey Yakbot, um, I'm going through a really bad breakup right now and I'm just wondering if she'll ever love me again. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> so the last secret function of Yakbot is the time bomb function. That's where he acts like a time bomb that you can use to prank your friends. Ooh. Basically, to use this function, you hold both buttons down for three seconds. And then, and then it just, it starts beeping and you make sure you just clear the area. I gotta go, okay, bye. That was awesome! And you can just do stuff like this. Yeah, it was. And there you have it. That's Yakbot, the really rad robot that you can talk to. See you later, Yakbot. See you later, calculator.